Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to verify given number is Harshad or Nivin number or not. Before writing the program, you should know what is a Harshad number. A number is said to be Harshad number if it is divisible by the sum of the individual digits. Okay, now let me discuss with an example. Look at this example called 24. Okay, so the given number is 24. So I will say n is equal to 24. Now I need to compute the sum of individual digits. What are the individual digits? The individual digits are 2 and 4. If I compute the sum of the individual digits, I will get the value as 6. So the given number 24, is it successfully divisible by 6 or not? Yes, a given number 24 is successfully divisible by 6. So I can say 24 is Harshad number. Similarly, if I take 18, okay, the given number is 18. If the given number is 18, compute the sum of the individual digits. What is the individual digits in the number 18, 1 and 8? Compute the addition, which is 9. Is the 18 can be successfully divided by 9? Yes, the remainder will be 0. So I can say 18 is the what is the Harshad number. Similarly, if I take the number as 35, okay. So what is the sum of the individual digits? The sum of the individual digits are 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8. Can the 8, 35 is successfully divisible by 8? No. If I divide 35, with 8, I will get the quotient as uh, what you called 8, 4 is a 32. So the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. So I can say as the remainder is not 0, I can say 35 is not successfully divisible by 8. So I hope you have understood what is a Harshad number or what is a Niven number. Now what we will do is that we will read the input from the user and verify whether that number is Harshad number or not. Okay, what I will do, I will write n is equal to int of input enter the number. Okay, once the user has entered the number, what I will do, I will store it in a variable called x and then I will assume the sum is equal to 0. So initially some value I have initialized to 0. Now what I need to do, I need to find the individual digits and then I need to compute the sum. So what I will do while x greater than 0, okay, while x greater than 0, I want to execute these instructions. What is it? REM is equal to x modulus 10. Okay, then I will write sum is equal to sum plus REM. Then I want to reduce the x value. So I will write x is equal to x mod uh, floor division 10. Okay, then what I want to verify if a given number is successfully divisible by sum. Meaning is that the remainder should be equal to 0. If it is so, I can say... I can say n is a Harshad number, is a Harshad number, else I can say it is not a Harshad number, okay, I will write the print statement, n, I will write comma, which acts as a separator, is not a Harshad number, okay, look at here, what we will do is that, we will run this program, okay, and take some value. Let's take the 24. Just now theoretically we have discussed that 24 is a Harshad number because some of the individual digits will be 6. So 24 can be successfully divisible by 6 because you will get the quotient as 4 and remainder is equal to 0. So I can say 24 is a Harshad number. Similarly, what I can do is that I will run the program again. This time I will give the input as 80. Okay, so the sum of the individual digits is 9. So 18 will be successfully divisible by 9. So I can say 18 is a Harshad number. Similarly, I will run the program again and give another input. Let's take the 25. What is the sum of the individual digits is 7. Is 25 is successfully divisible by 7? No, you will get the remainder as 4. So I can say 25 is not a 
Harshad number. Okay, so what I will do now is that with one example, I will trace this program. I will take the n value is equal to 18. If n value is equal to 18, if I write a statement called x is equal to n, so x value will be 18 and some initial value is 0. Then you are verifying the condition. What is the condition you are verifying? X should be greater than 0. What is the x value 18? Is 18 is greater than 0? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed. What is the first statement? REM is equal to x modulus 10. REM is equal to x. What is the x value? 18. 18 modulus 10. You will get a reminder which is 8. So REM is having the value 8. Then what you are performing? Sum is equal to sum plus REM. What is the sum initial value? 0. 0 plus REM. What is the REM value? 8. So sum will get the value as 8. Okay. Keep this one. Sum is equal to 8. Then what you are doing? X is equal to X floor division 10. Okay. X value is 18. Floor division 10 will give you the quotient which is 1. So X is updating its value to 1. Then again you will verify the condition. What is the condition now? X should be greater than 0. What is the X value? 1. Is 1 is greater than 0? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed. What is the first statement? REM is equal to X modulus 10. What is the X value? 1. 1 modulus 10 will give you the reminder as 1. So REM is having the value 1 now. The next statement is sum is equal to sum plus REM. Already the sum is having the value 8. REM is having the value 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. So sum is having the value 9. Okay. Then you are performing x is equal to x floor division 10. What is the x value 1? 1 floor division 10 will give you the quotient as 0. So x value becomes 0 now. Okay, then again you are verifying the condition. What is the condition? X should be greater than 0. What is the X value? 0. Is 0 is greater than 0? No, the condition is false. If the condition is false, the statements which are there in the while loop will not be executed. The next statement after the while loop will be executed. What is the next statement? If you have a condition. So, what is the condition here? You have N modulus sum. Okay, is equal to equal to 0 or not, you need to verify. What is the n value which is given number 18? What is the modulus? Modulus will give you the a reminder. Okay, so what is the sum value 9? So 18 modulus 9 will give you the a reminder as 0. So is 0 is equal to 0? Yes, the condition is true. If the condition is true, the statements which are there in the while loop will be executed. Sorry, what are the statements which are there in the if block will be executed? Okay, because here the if condition is true. What is the statement is there? Print n is a Hurstead number. What is the n value? 18. So you will get the output as 18 is a Hurstead number. If you want to verify, let me give the input as 18. You got the 18 is a Hurstead number. I hope you have understood this program. If you have any doubts related to this program, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.